Now, could comets have helped bring life to Earth? Well, just maybe. The Philae Lander spacecraft, which spectacularly touched down on a comet last year, has found carbon compounds that could have the potential to create new forms of life. The BBC science editor David Shukman has more. You're watching Newsday on the BBC Live from London, still to come in the programme. Now, one of the world's most complicated and confusing border disputes ends on Friday as India and Bangladesh exchanged more than 160 enclaves, little land islands belonging to one country but located in the other. Some 50,000 residents of these enclaves will finally gain proper identity after having remained virtually stateless for six decades. The enclaves were created in the 18th century and have endured through British colonial rule and the independence of first India and more recently Bangladesh. Gary O'Donoghue then. Now, Asia's biggest technology conference is getting underway in Hong Kong. It's called RISE and more than 20,000 people are expected to go along. And some of the biggest names from so-called startup companies are there. Now, in just a few hours' time, we will find out which city will get to host the 2022 Winter Olympic Games. Will it be Almaty in Kazakhstan or the Chinese capital, Beijing? The International Olympic Committee says both bids have much to offer, but critics claim that it's an unpalatable choice between two undemocratic countries with questionable human rights records. John Sudworth reports from Beijing. The Taliban have appointed a new leader after confirming the death of Mullah Omar, who led the movement for some 20 years. Taliban sources have told the BBC that Mullah Akhtar Mansur, who served as Mullah Omar's deputy, will now take charge of the group. Shaima Khalil has the latest from Islamabad. Sharma Khalil there. Now, a groom in Norway has forgotten the traditional wedding car or horse-drawn car. Now on BBC News, Asia Business Report. The top stories this hour. Two more trade unions are backing the left-wing MP Jeremy Corbyn. The energy firm Centrica, which owns British Gas, is to cut 6,000 jobs as part of a major restructuring programme. And the former hosts of Top Gear, Jeremy Clarkson, James May and Richard Hammond, have signed a deal. The BBC said it wouldn't renew Clarkson's contract after he punched a producer. Time now for all the... Welcome to Newsday on the BBC. I'm Lebu Diseko in London. Here are the headlines. It is 1am here in London and this is Newsday. A piece of aircraft debris washed up on a French island in the Indian Ocean is due to be flown mainland to France later on Friday to be examined by investigators. Experts think it could be from the missing flight MH370, which disappeared in March last year with 239 people on board. Jonathan's uh, report just now that it could be a little while, a couple of days before they actually do confirm whether this is the plane. And then... Um, after that, I mean, they need to find the black pop box before they actually find out what happened. Has there been anything put in place to help the family through that process? It could be more waiting. The Afghan Taliban have appointed a new leader after confirming the death of Mullah Omar, who led the movement for some 20 years. Taliban sources have told the BBC that Mullah Akhtar Mansour, who served as Mullah Omar's deputy, will now take charge of the group. Shaima Khalil has the latest from Islamabad. Shaima Khalil in Islamabad there. Let's take a look at some other news now. One of the world's most complicated and confusing border disputes ends on Friday as India and Bangladesh exchanged more than 160 enclaves. These are little land islands that belong to one country but are located in another. Some 50,000 residents of these enclaves will finally gain proper identity after having been virtually stateless for six decades. Sanjay Majumda has more. Now, good comets have helped to bring life to Earth. Well, just maybe. The Feline Lander spacecraft, which spectacularly touched down on a comet last year, has found the carbon compounds which could have the potential to create new forms of life. The BBC science editor David Shukman explains. You're watching Newsday on the BBC Live from London, still to come on the programme. This is Newsday on the BBC. I'm Lebu Tiseko in London. The headlines. Now, it's just a few hours when we'll learn which city will host the 2022 Winter Olympic Games. Will it be Almaty in Kazakhstan or the Chinese capital, Beijing? The International Olympic Committee says both sides do have much to offer. But critics claim it's an unpalatable choice between two undemocratic countries with questionable human rights records. John Sudworth reports from Beijing. 
Now, Asia's biggest technology conference is getting underway in Hong Kong. It's called RISE, and more than 20,000 people are expected to go along. Some of the biggest names from so-called startup companies are there. Now, if you are a regular on Newsday, you will probably have noticed that recently we've been presenting the programme just from London. And that's because our Singapore studio is on the move. We're busy preparing for the relaunch of Newsday on the 3rd of August. The programme will have a fresh new look. Here's Rico. Now, a bridegroom in Norway has forgone the traditional wedding car or horse-drawn car to Newsday from the BBC. Thank you for watching. The latest headlines from BBC News, I'm Lebu Tiseko. Time now for Asia Business Report. I'm Lebu Tiseko, the top stories this hour. The BBC understands that the Metropolitan Police has begun an investigation into a number of allegations involving the children's charity Kids Company. Our special correspondent Lucy Manning has more. Two more trade unions are backing the left-wing MP Jeremy Corbyn in the Labour leadership contest. The former hosts of Top Gear, Jeremy Clarkson, James May and Richard Hammond, have signed a deal to present a motoring programme on the television streaming service Amazon Prime. Time now for all the sports news in sports today.